In today's video, we are talking about power banks. Now, recently we've done a couple of videos on power banks, and generally the thought behind these are predominantly, which I'm going to quickly recap those, is a super useful tool to use on the road, in your home, or if you're quickly looking to just boost some charge, or if you're going away or on a night out, and you want to be sure that your devices, such as your phone, or your earbuds, or your watch, are all charged to the level that is acceptable and will last you for the period that you are away from a dedicated charging point. Traditionally though, power banks have always been underpowered when it comes to its output in terms of wattage. Generally speaking, you're gonna get 25 to 15 watts as a standard, and that's from really large brands. But then we recently reviewed the Cook, the Chuck Tech 10, which is this beauty here, and that gave you a max power output of 150 watts from its total capacity, which was pretty nuts. You had a USB-C port and a USB-A port, and it basically can charge pretty much everything you wanted. And well, when you look at it and profile-wise, it was actually pretty compact. But some of the things that we were hearing online and in general from the feedback that we were getting around the power bag itself was, do they do a larger capacity power bank? Because we'd be interested to see what that looks like. Well, guess what? Yes, we have this, which is the Chuck Tech 20. A little bit different, but it follows sort of a similar path. You get 25,000 milliamp hours of battery life and, or capacity I should say, and 210 watts of max charging across its three ports. So we're gonna delve into this a little bit more and run some comparisons between the 20 and the 10 to give you an idea as to what the key differences are and then sort of focus a bit more on the 20 to give an understanding of what its best uses are as well as some examples of its max power output. But also, we also want to ask the question, the Chuck Tech 20, is it any good? Let's find out. Okay, so let's talk quickly about design and the profile of the Chuck Tech 20. Now, first of all, you're gonna notice this. At the front, you do get an LCD panel, which gives you readouts of your percentage of how much power you have left in your power bank, as well as the output of each individual port. It will also give you this if you are charging it as well, which will charge at ultra rapid pace as well, which is pretty sick. And this sort of design aesthetic, it looks, super industrial, but it's also very cyberpunky and very funky cool looking. I actually love using this power bank, primarily because of the way it looks. It looks great. You've got a button also here to kind of switches it on and off to give you the display. Obviously it will power down, the display will after a short while time, so if you're charging it, the display won't always be on. And then let's talk at the top bit here. You get two USB-C ports and a USB-A port, which means you could charge three devices at the same time at that max 210 watts of capacity in terms of charging speeds. One thing I would say, if you're looking to dead, get the full use of this, there are very few devices in terms of smartphones that would allow you to charge the top end. The example we're showing you here of the Xiaomi 14T Pro is maxing out at its top end charging speeds, which is around 120 watts of wired charging, which is wild. I'm just gonna put that out there. Absolutely insane, but we love it because it's just great. And then generally the whole design aesthetic itself is pretty great. One thing I would say though, in terms of build quality, in terms of the look, feel and finish, it looks very different to any power bank you'd ever used before. And actually, if you look at a quick comparison, it does follow a similar design aesthetic to the Cook Tech 10, the Chuck Tech 10, sorry. So it is that in common, obviously quite a lot larger compared to the Chuck Tech 10. So if you look for something a bit more compact, the 10 would be perfect for just like everyday use. And then the Chuck Tech 20, where does that fit in? So let's talk about that. This is probably gonna be your ideal unit to use if you're looking to charge something like your phone, your laptop, your earbuds slash watch all at the same time, or if you're going away. Now this is a key selling point, I would say that this power in here, for example, an S24 Ultra, it will actually charge it from zero to 100% five times because it's a 25,000 milliamp hour battery and it's a 5,000 milliamp hour battery on the S24 Ultra. So if you are going away to say a festival and you didn't want to take loads of wiring with you, a single cable, 
and this would be more than sufficient to charge your phone. But for those who are working on the road and there's no charging available, for example, you know, in your car or on a train or on a coach or whatever have you, then this again would be ideal to charge your laptop, MacBook, whatever you have you, your phone, your earbuds, your watch, etc., etc. So it's super, super convenient. Great output, charges in reverse super fast obviously you would need to buy a dedicated charger for that as well so the chuck tech 20 has tons of great performances and obviously we've shown you quite a few examples throughout this review in terms of different scenarios in where it functions and it's best maximized again i would say the key selling point of this would be the multi-device connection and again that output of 210 watts of max power which is wild but amazing for us we're actually gonna chuck this into our camera bag. Now that may sound a bit weird, but when we are filming in different locations, different sets, etc., we don't always have access to a quick port or a plug because of length of wires, etc. So powering this to charge our camera or our phones or any of the lighting equipment we use, all that would sit perfectly within it. And yes, it will charge all of those as well. So which is incredible. So the Chuck Tech 20, if you're looking to buy one, check out our link in description as well as all the promotional codes and you can get this for a pretty great price we'll leave the price to you to investigate but that's a bit of a review of the chuck tech 20. thank you so much for watching until next one as always we out